and this is my render method for the card. I can you can see there's items, and uh, within item there is item, and there is a photo component. This is how I fire uh, trigger the event listeners. So whenever an item is removed, an event will be triggered. Whenever an update quantity is updated, an event will be triggered. So this is how I add an item to the component. And this is my application JS. So this is the plugin code where it will uh, do a set state on the component. So this plugin will retain an instance of the component. So <coughs> this is another method for removing an item from the component. So as a recap, the methods are called on the plugin. This is a plugin which will sit in between the, my jQuery application and the React component. And uh, the plugin will initialize the components and it will call the render and set state. And plugin pass listeners to components which are propagated to application on trigger. And the component will hold the state. Plugin won't store states. Always depend on the component for the state. Thank you. You can see the sample here.